Shalom Sprouties! This is Rivka from the Corganic Family. In the next video in our series, we're going to cover how to set up a brand new Foodie Pro Featured Post Widget. And this is going to be for our recipe page and the WordPress Foodie Pro theme. Up until now, we've just focused on using mainly demo content in this area and we just in the last video created new categories in the last couple videos actually we created a few new categories so that we could demonstrate this better um, and also because I needed those categories but um, what we're doing now is creating a brand new widget we've been using the widgets that were already set up for us and we've just been editing them so now we're gonna set one up um, from the beginning so it'll be a brand new widget okay so we're going to go back to our dashboard and then we're going to go in and go to appearance widgets and in the previous video we um, covered this section more thoroughly so if you're interested in that um, please check out that video. In this one we're going to go a little bit more um, quickly and efficiently since we've already covered a lot of this. So we're going to go to our recipes bottom and work with the widgets in the bottom of our recipes page. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these Foodie Pro um, featured post widgets and we're going to drag it over here where we want it. So now we're going to work on the snacks. Um, let's say we want to put those under salads. Okay. So now we're going to create this widget for our snacks, and we are going to have four across on a page. This just lets you set up your grid. Um, for example, here, how we have the four across on the page, and we are not going to grab all categories. We're going to specifically grab our snacks, and we want to show four posts at all times and this will automatically update to your four most recent posts and then we do want to show the image before the title and we're going to increase this to the 320 by 320 the image size and then we want to show the post title I don't want to show any more info from the um, post I think it'll just get too crowded and then we're going to show the category archive link um, and I want to show you this if we just save this as is it's not going to match what was in our demo content this is fine if you um, were creating all your widgets new I don't think it's a big deal to have this like this let me just show you so we're going to save that and then we're going to come over I'm going to refresh this recipes page and then if you see under these wedg widgets we have the see more button so under salads and salad dressing da, da, da. and then, then from snacks the one we just created instead of having the see more we have more posts from this category so if you wanted to say see more um, I'll go back and show you how to do that right now um, but if you were creating them all from um, new if you weren't using the demo content you know it's just your preference I think you know this is okay and this just just a styling preference um, and so if you want to do that you would change it here and you would go see more and then to get the little arrow oops just make sure that worked oh. oh I copied this code down wrong I don't think it's an A I think it's an AND symbol let me try that oh yeah okay there we go so that should show up fine over here too so then it just matches. So either way, I would just make them all match, whatever you decide you're going to do. So there we have it. We have our new widget set up. So now what we can do is go ahead and set up another one. Let me close this one. What I want to do is so 
put up a second one, and this one is going to be raw vegan snacks. And I want to show something about the parent-child categories. Again, I showed it in the last video, um, but I think it's really super cool. So I want to make sure, um, if you're only watching this video or if you didn't quite get it in the last video, that you really get it because I think it's a, <clears throat> a really nice feature. It's going to be the raw vegan snacks, and we're just going to go over and do the same things that we already did. It's already ordered by date. And then show image for the title and size post title okay, save Then I'm going to close this, make sure this came up properly on my page, on my recipes page. Okay, it's right there, but my Seymour isn't working. So I would really like to go and check and make sure things showed up the right way. I might have forgot to click. I often forget to click just basic things like save. <laughs> okay, here, show. Okay, and there we go. So now what we're going to do is show the, in the last video, um, go back to my dashboard, um, we showed how we created the categories um, with the parent-child um, variations. We actually had created the snacks one, um, but this is the same thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into all posts and I'm going to grab this since we just created the snacks, the snacks and the raw vegan snacks are both brand new categories and the snacks category is the parent and the raw vegan snacks is the child. So you'll see here like this is parent and this is child categories. I'm only going to click the child category. I'm going to put it in raw vegan snacks. I'm going to update this. And then I'm going to come over here and refresh this. And it's really cool because you see, oops, I forgot to click that I don't want more information. Okay, I just have to fix this because I I only wanted to have the picture in the title. So whatever, I have to go back in and edit the widget. But what I wanted to show right now is that even though I only um, tagged it in raw vegan snacks, because this is a child of this category of snacks, it showed up in both automatically. Um, and what I explained in the last video when I did that um, as a test, like in the desserts categories, I did I put some put it in raw vegan desserts, but not in desserts. It automatically put it, but the one that I actually tagged it in the child category, it showed up first, and in the parent category, it showed up last. And I thought that that was kind of cool because it made it um, not as much of a priority in the parent. Um, category as it did in the child category and the reason that I like this so much is because I think it's um, a very intelligent design because otherwise you would have it showing up multiple times you know on your widgets and the page would look the same so it creates um, natural variation which um, visual you know natural visual variation imagine if you had um, a parent category like let's say I had a desserts category and then a vegan desserts category and then like a raw vegan desserts category um, you wouldn't let's say each one was a child of the other one or something you wouldn't want to have this show up three times in exactly the same place or even two times I don't know you know how far down the tier you can go but just so that you can understand what I'm saying so I think that's really brilliant um, oh and let's go in and try to edit this since always kind of um, if you're learning and you're new like me I think it's kind of good when we um, make some little mistakes because then we learn to go in and fix them so let's get the titles not no I'm sorry not the titles but the extra information out of the post
show post title or before title. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, let me compare it to this one. Okay, so see here it says content, type, no content. So that's what I need to come out back and do in the snacks. Um, okay, instead of saying here, show excerpt, I need to say no content. Okay, and save. So now in our snacks, it's going to be fixed, but in our raw vegan snacks, it's not. To show. So there's our snacks where we just fixed that one. Watch when we refresh it. And then in our raw vegan stack, snacks, it's still going to be um, long. So see, we still have it there. And then it's gone there. So I'll go back and I'll do that for the raw vegan snacks as well. But you get the point. There's one more quick thing that I want to show you. And that is, let me see if I can find an example here. Okay, in the desserts category, you see that you have eight pictures and not just four. So it's four across, but it's eight total. I just want to clarify so I don't confuse anyone um, why I had um, selected four when I went in. So you can choose the grid column as one fourth. Remember when we went in here, you can choose one fourth. And a lot of times you saw that I just put four. I wanted four because I know that I'm going to have a ton of categories. I'm going to have a ton of widgets. Um, listed in here so like I personally um, right now like how this looks and then someone can scroll through my categories however if you have less categories or if you just like it better you know whatever you want this desserts category right now is set up to 12 so it's going to be four across up to three times now there's only um, I guess about eight sample posts in um, in this demo content so it's showing eight but if there would be another four um, desserts that were tagged we'd have another line down here or another half a line um, um, you know in this widget so I just wanted to show you that you don't have to select four right here um, I'm actually gonna leave it at four now because I I'm gonna go through and, do, and put them all at four for myself to start with um, Again, that's just my preference, but I didn't want you to get confused and think that it had to match because the grid was one fourth that the um, posts across also needed to be four. You can have as many rows as you want to. So now you'll see, you know, I am now, instead of having eight, I'm going to have four across my desserts category. And that's just how I like it because of, you know, like I said, now somebody can go do really fast and look at my categories and get a glimpse and you know I might change that but um, something that's really important to me because I have all this separation between um, my categories and my raw vegan categories because a lot of times people who are trying to eat raw vegan are not um, wanting the recipes in the parent categories I have to kind of double a lot of my categories and that's why I want my posts not to um, you know be as big but again this is just styling and personal preference it depends on what you're doing with your blog and you know just what works best for you but you have the flexibility to do whatever you want if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and even better subscribe to our channel